Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thank you so much for joining me. Hospitals across the nation are reaching their breaking points as the coronavirus pandemic shows no signs of slowing down. Infections continue to rise at alarming rates. For the first time, the U.S. has now reported more than 19,000 deaths from the virus in a single week. COVID-19 has now killed more than 325,000 people nationwide since the start of the pandemic. More than 18.4 million cases have been confirmed. Despite warnings from the CDC to stay at home, many people are still traveling for the holidays. The Transportation Security Administration says it's screened millions of passengers over the last few days. As fears mount that the travel and large family gatherings for Christmas could lead to an even bigger spike in infections. In the meantime, the U.S. government says it's purchasing another 100 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine that would end up doubling the nation's supply of that vaccine as officials work to get as many Americans a shot as possible. Lilia Luciano has more on this story. Critically ill patients spilling into hallways. ICUs completely full. That's how bad it's gotten in California. In Los Angeles County, hospitals admitted less than 150 COVID patients a day in October. By Thanksgiving, it was 300, and now 700 a day and getting worse. Among those answering the call for help, traveling nurse Sarah Howes from Washington, D.C., who has filled in across the country, including in hard-hit El Paso. It's pretty gruesome, and it's like slow-motion trauma. This week, she began work in California, which took more than nine months to reach one million COVID cases. Just six weeks later, the state about to hit two million and deaths are skyrocketing. I see the implications and my patients are dying alone. How has your job changed? My job uh, traditionally as a cardiac ICU nurse was to fix people and get them better. And my job now is to put my patients in body bags and get the room ready for the next patient. The hope is that help keeps coming. The U.S. government has reached an agreement with Pfizer for 100 million more doses of vaccine. New York's mayor today ordering law enforcement to keep tabs on those now in quarantine after flying from the United Kingdom. We are going to have sheriff's deputies go to the home or the hotel of every single traveler coming in from the U.K. And yet, there are still the maskless gatherings, like this conga line in New York, where people are either oblivious to the ongoing pandemic or outright defiant. I want to share something else. Actor Kirk Cameron last night leading a group of carolers in Southern California, a sing-along in one of the nation's worst hotspots. My fear is that people aren't taking care of themselves, especially during this time where people really want to get together. I'm not going to quit on our community, and I hope that the communities aren't going to quit on us. California health officials are desperate to enlist more Sarahs, 3,000 more to be exact, but they're just nowhere to be found. Lana? Oh, wow, Lilia, thank you.